RidgeBot has reached a significant milestone by adding Graybox testing capabilities, featuring Windows authentication testing in the release of version 4.3. In this update, a new scenario called Windows Authenticated Penetration has been introduced as one of the pre-built scenarios. In this scenario, RidgeBot utilizes provided user credentials to log in to the Windows system to test for local vulnerabilities, including local privilege escalation. Graybox testing helps organizations understand the risks that could be exposed if an attacker bypasses their security defenses or if a threat comes from an insider. It complements black box testing by providing a 360-degree measure of an organization's security posture. Additionally, RidgeBot 4.3 introduces 66 new plugins, addressing 37 critical CVEs published by CISA. Please refer to this tutorial to witness RidgeBot 4.3 in action. So let's start by going to the RidgeBot login page and logging in using your account. To use the new scenario in the RidgeBot 4.3 release, it is very simple. We can start by clicking the button, and here in the list, you'll find the new Windows Authenticated Penetration Scenario. Click Select, which brings us to the Task Configuration page. We'll fill in the required information, including the task name and the target's IP address. We also need to provide the credentials of the target operating system. Here I'm using the local administrator account, so that's all we need to do. But if you are using a domain account, for example, you also need to fill in the AD domain name. After doing that, the configuration part is finished. We can initiate the task by clicking the Run button. We can see the task has started successfully, so we can click into the task and track the progress. As we can see, RidgeBot has made some progress specifically. It was able to use the provided credentials to log into the system and perform local privilege escalation experiments. The experiments appeared to be successful. If we go to the vulnerability table, we can see some vulnerabilities have already been reported by RidgeBot. The task summary has been updated, showing that RidgeBot has found many vulnerabilities and there are many attack surfaces. We can see more vulnerabilities have been reported, including the print spooler, the SMB server, elevation privilege. Also, you can see that RidgeBot has performed credential harvesting and was able to find credentials. So if we click this, yes, we can see that this is the credential harvesting task and the corresponding risk. Here, we can see RidgeBot found many accounts by doing credential harvesting. We can also click this icon to display the hashed password, for example. And other vulnerabilities listed here can also be expanded. Here, we can see the details of a specific vulnerability and how we can resolve the vulnerability by upgrading to a specific Windows version, for example. We can see the task summary has been updated. It shows the response has found many vulnerabilities and there are many attack surfaces. Additionally, we can see that this target machine is in the navigation panel. Also, we can preview the generated report in which it explains the authenticated penetration methodology in detail. For example, how RidgeBot establishes access, how the low computer escalation attack is being performed, and how RidgeBot performs the credential harvesting. As usual, RidgeBot provides a health score of the target system. It also reports out what abilities it found, including the credential harvesting and all the other local privilege escalation abilities, including the descriptions and the solutions. And if we go back to the test list, we can see the task is finishing. So, that's how to use the new Windows Authenticated Penetration Scenario to perform penetration tests on Windows target machines. Stay ahead of the curve in cybersecurity with RidgeBot 4.3. Don't miss out on the latest features and bug fixes. Contact us now to learn more or schedule a demo. Elevate your security strategy today.